Here's a question I received from a student in a recent class. He wants a rectangle 18 by 24 inches. So I've got the rectangle tool and I'm typing in the dimensions after I draw it. So that's 18 comma 24. I hit enter and that makes the basic rectangle. What he wants is a 3 inch square in each corner and also a 3 inch square in the middle of each line. The squares in the corner are the easy part. We just click in a corner with the rectangle tool, type 3, comma 3, and hit enter. And then we can repeat for each of the four corners. Now I use the keyboard shortcut R to bring up the rectangle tool. You could also select the rectangle from the toolbar. Now here's where things get a little tricky. There's an inference at the midpoint of each line. So we'll draw the square, type in the dimensions, 3 comma 3, but the square isn't centered like we want it. We have a couple of options here, but whatever option we take, we're going to wind up moving the square. So I just click in that face, M for move, click anywhere, drag along the red axis, and type 1.5, which is half the width of the square. If I wanted to, I could put a guideline in at the midpoint. Now that doesn't really help to draw the square, but it might make moving a little easier. So there's the square click inside that face, M for the move tool, there is a midpoint inference for the line on the square. And that's what's going on here. When we draw the square, it breaks the long line into short lines. I can also copy a square from one end to the other. So just click inside the face type M to get the move tool, tap the control key to invoke the copy function, click on the midpoint, and drag it down to the opposite side. That's one click, M for the move tool, control to make a copy, click, and find the point on the opposite side. The last step will be to type E to get the eraser tool, hold down the left mouse button, and drag across the guidelines to remove them.